day two in Istanbul. And we decided to go to Grand Bazaar today. And there is also another Egyptian bazaar. After leaving the quiet room of the hotel, uh, it all seems so loud. Everyone working, doing their stuff. We live pretty close to a place where there are like a lot of stores, pretty active streets. But luckily our room is located a bit higher on fifth floor, so we don't really hear anything. That's pretty fortunate. So this is the entrance. The historic Grand Bazaar is one of the oldest and largest covered markets in the world, with over 4,000 shops and 60 streets. Originally built in the 15th century, the Grand Bazaar has been a hub of commerce and culture for centuries. Today you can explore a wide range of goods, including traditional Turkish carpets, spices, ceramics, jewelry and even clothing. One of the most interesting things about the Grand Bazaar is its architecture. The market is made up of several covered streets and courtyards with beautiful domes and beautiful tile work. We found one of the most famous places, uh, Nusret. I'm sure you definitely know it. So this is the one. There you go, right at the end. We are hungry right now, but uh, later we might check in. We checked their menu and they also have some interesting burger where there is literally like no sauce, there is only uh, meat, cheese and bread. So it's, and as we know, it's not dry at all. So we are thinking maybe we should come here for that. I'm sure the steak is also tasty, uh, but we would want to try something like special, something like we wouldn't find anywhere else. As expected, super loud, a lot of people, a lot of different items, clothing. The thing is, like, we're trying to take a look at the prices as well, but of course we don't plan to buy anything, we're just looking around. Uh, and uh, many prices look uh, pretty affordable, but uh, on most of the things there are no prices. Uh, on clothing, just uh, on the outside. It's pretty dangerous to buy something if you are a tourist, probably. Better to come here with someone local. There are pretty many local people as well, and I'm not even sure these people are selling or these people are buying. So many people, so hard to understand. Out there. Yeah, it looks scary. At the end uh, of the Grand Bazaar, uh, you will find another bazaar which is also called Egyptian Bazaar. So let's take a look. The Egyptian market, also known as the Spice Bazaar, is another oldest and iconic landmark in Istanbul. Originally built in the 17th century, this bazaar was created to provide spices and other exotic goods from the east to the residents of Istanbul. You can explore a wide range of goods including traditional Turkish sweets, spices, tea, nuts and more. The market is made up of beautiful domes and has an amazing interior just like Grand Bazaar. Everyone is coming to you, like offering you different things. You can also try out uh, some stuff, but make sure to ask whether it's free and it's better even if you have it on your video just in case. They offering you tea, offering you try out some different sweets. So while you are walking here, uh, you can uh, try different uh, different sweets and you will get full so you don't have to eat uh, anymore. Yeah. <laughs> When you come out from uh, the Egyptian bazaar, you will end up at the Galata Bridge, so pretty convenient.
They are literally cooking oh, there. How? They are like moving. <laughs> I would probably feel horrible doing <laughs> that. We are on the other side of Galata Bridge. Yesterday we were going the other way. We noticed some prices. Some of them look uh, pretty cheap. Yes, my friend. Some my of friend. them way too expensive. Like everything together, so you need to uh, keep looking. On the other hand, uh, we're not sure about the taste as well. Sometimes we find something super expensive and we hope that it's tasty, but uh, it's not. Or contrary, it's super cheap, but it's super tasty. So I think uh, me, there is no the connection problem? between price and uh, like uh, taste. Not anymore. Maybe it it used to be like that, but now don't hope. If you pay a lot of money, it will be tasty. Or if you pay less money, it won't be tasty. It's like mixed. Also, it's uh, Istanbul, uh, there are many different type of scams happening. For example, one of them is when you are walking, for example, and in the street some man drops uh, his brush and uh, you might like try to pick it up for him or to, uh, like tell you sorry like you dropped this but better not to pick it up. Uh, if you pick it up he might tell you thank you, he will start cleaning your shoes and then he will, he will start asking for money. I still told him, sorry, you dropped something anyway, because I'm trying to be nice. Uh, but anyway, don't touch anything and don't let them clean your shoes because they will start asking for money. Better avoid that. That was the first time we saw it here in Istanbul, only once, and we hope it will be the last one. <laughs> Next, we visited Roman Catholic Church of Santa Maria Draperis, which is located in the Harbi neighborhood of Istanbul and was constructed in the early 20th century. The church was built by the Italian architect uh, Giulio Mongeri, uh, who also designed several other buildings in Istanbul. This church was designed in a neo-Gothic style with intricate stonework and beautiful stained glass windows. Just several minutes away you can also visit the church of Saint Anthony of Padua. The church was originally built in the late 18th century by the local Italian community and was designed in a Baroque style with ornate stonework, frescoes and beautiful stained glass windows. The church is named after Saint Anthony of Padua, a beloved Catholic saint who is known for his preaching, miracles and devotion to the poor. This church also served as a hub for Istanbul's Catholic community for many years and was known for its vibrant liturgies, music and community events. The Mass in this church is conducted in Italian, Polish, Turkish and even in English at different days and time. The church is also a popular destination for tourists who are interested in Istanbul's religious and architectural history. So we are at the Taksim Square and there is some Republic Monument. We are done for today but make sure to subscribe to our channel, enjoy our journey as we explore Istanbul.